The Knot Live, what's hot in the world of weddings. We have, you know, none other than the man who is known for basically helping out so many brides on the world fame, at the world famous Kleinfeld Bridal Salon on his show, Say Yes to the Dress. But this week, he is going to help us dress some grooms. Let's welcome Randy Pinoli. Hey, Randy. Hey, sweetheart. Hi. Hey, How are you, beautiful? I'm good. I'm good. good. We're going to have some fun this week, huh? You know what? As you know, the wedding today is not just about the bride. Yes. Today's wedding is really about the couple. So we want to make sure that if that bride's coming in and looking so gorgeous, we want the grooms to look just as hot and sexy as she does. And you know, they do too. See, this is how this all originated, that basically some naughty girls called <laughs> us and said, they gave us the 911 and said, oh my God, you have to help me dress my groom. And so we knew who to call. Call me. <laughs> and um, this is all in celebration of Kleinfeld, the sort of world famous, most amazing bridal salon in the world, has now opened a groom's area. You know what we noticed? We noticed that there was a real void in the marketplace for dressing the yes. groom and that they weren't being addressed and nobody was making them feel important. We just, and special and more custom, exactly. not just like a perfect, you know, tuxedo. And if she's buying a five thousand dollar wedding dress or whatever, he does not need to be wearing a rental, ladies. Okay? You have that tuxedo looking, for the rest of your life. E exactly. Right. He's going to be wearing this suit and or tuxedo for the rest of his life, and it's got to fit him just as beautifully as your dress does. Us, because he's going to stay in shape for the rest of his life. Just <laughs> yes. so you know. Yeah. Not bloody likely. But <laughs> um, anyway, so all right. So let's hear our first plea was from Courtney. Let's hear what she had to ask us. Hi, my name is Courtney and I'm from upstate New York. My fiance Brian and I are getting married this September. The problem is that we both live hours away from our families and Brian has had nobody to go get a tux with him and he doesn't know where to start. I can picture him in a classic black tux with a tie, but I would certainly be open to other suggestions as well. Please help my fiance look fabulous for our big day. So what are we going to do for Courtney? Well, you know, we're going to try to obey Courtney's wishes and okay. go with them. And so we put Brian in a really classic tuxedo. Here it is. Wow. It's, he looks very smashing. It's a Barathea wool, um, a beautiful bow tie to kind of make it a little more formal. <laughs> Hamming it up there, Brian, huh? <laughs> it's got a peak lapel. Um, it's our classic um, silhouette. It's beautiful. And it's a very formal look for a very formal wedding. It's slim line. And here's Brian as we have it. This is, you look beautiful. How do you feel? Thank you. Good? I feel great. Handsome. Handsome. Right. Handsome. That's handsome. right. That's really I like the slim cut. I think it really, you know, supports his stature. What well, do you think? Here's the thing. You know, grooms are going to the gyms nowadays and they're keeping their bodies in shape, just like the brides, and why shouldn't they be showing it off? So, as I said, I want them looking as hot and sexy as the brides. So that's what we're trying to do at Kleinfeld. And do you need to be carrying over these patterns into other aspects of the wedding or just be inspired by the color? Or? You know, it's really the bride's choice it, okay. and the groom's choice. It's kind of their wedding and they can do whatever they want. It should should, I think, complement the palette, of course. Got it, yeah. So color yeah. is a place to begin. All right, well, Absolutely. thank you so much. Thank Brian. you. Now, what we have is Courtney. She's calling in on Skype. Let's see, oh, there she is. Courtney, what do you think? Wow, he, he looks amazing. Um, I love I love the bow tie, the pattern's so much fun. He just he just looks fantastic. There you go. Well, it looks, like you, to hear. looks like you scored. Well, thank you for your feedback, Courtney. Um, you scored on this one. So that Good. one's a Good. thumbs up. Okay, let's hope we do as well with the rest of and them. And I don't know if she noticed, but, the, but the, the cuff links and the studs are sterling and 14 karat gold. Beautiful. So um, it's something that he can keep forever. I love that. All right. I well, would definitely you. want to wear this again because it looks great. I feel like James Bond in this. Good. Yeah, That's there we go. That's I what that. I want to hear. James, You're That's awesome, great. Brian. Okay, thank okay. you so much. Thank Thanks you. for joining us. Okay, next up. We have Jen. Now, Jen um, has, you know, has some concerns as well. Let's hear what she had to say. Hi, my name is Jen from Manhattan. My fiance Aram and I are getting married on a New York City rooftop this September, and I want his groom style to match our fun event. I think a tux would be a little too formal for our big day, so something in a navy suit that doesn't feel like he's going to work would be great. Also, a little something that differentiates him from the rest of the groomsmen would be my preference. So thank you for helping us out. 
Okay, Randy, what have you done for okay, him? Okay, so here's what we've done. Jen and Aram are getting married at the Hudson Hotel. Now, yeah, beautiful. I don't beautiful. know if you've seen this hotel, but it's very chic. It's modern. It's got some neon yellow lights going up the escalator. So we have this really flashy vest that we have on him. Underneath, this very, it's a beautiful I brocade green and blue. Best. I think he's going to join us. Come, Come in. Yeah, we did. You had yes. you strut the catwalk, and now Aram? we want to see you up close and personal. <laughs> so, oh, I like this. Okay, so this best. Wait, it's pinstripe. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is a beautiful blue pinstripe. That's so classy. And see, it was just a pop of color, mm -hmm. and that's going to set him apart from the rest of the wedding party and make it stand out and make him look, you know, you know, beautiful, but handsome. But here's yeah. what's going to happen. After beautiful the wedding, good. he's going to be able to take this vest off and the tie off and wear it to work or whatever, wear this jacket with a pair okay. of jeans and you know get some use out of that's it. That's great. So it's good double duty. I like it. How do you feel? Feels good. It feels really good. Yeah, you like it. I also like this little pocket square. It's very Pop cute. Color. I like the color. color. Yeah, it's good to have. Absolutely. All right, Jen, what do you think, hon? Hi. <laughs> So handsome. I would definitely marry that guy. Oh, yes. yes. That's good because I think you've set a date. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's it's official. Great. He's great. I love the pops of color, and I know green is one of his favorite colors, so it good. really goes nicely with the navy. That's one of our um, themes for wedding, the wedding. So he looks great. Okay, you guys are happy. You're done Absolutely. already. All right, yeah. good. All right, thank <laughs> you so great. much. Thank you. Thank All right, you. next up, let's see what Gina um, thought about her groom. So my fiance and I are engaged and planning to get married sometime in the spring or summer months, but we haven't picked a date yet. I'm not really sure what he has in mind for his suit, but I have a little idea. It would be really nice if he wore a light colored gray suit and then a fun bright tie to complement the colors of our flowers. So please, can you help make him my dashing prince? <laughs> I love you, Well, let Gina. me tell you, he's, he is a dashing prince. And um, right. what we went with just a charcoal gray suit instead of such a light gray, but we did bring it into the spring with a pop of ah, pink color. Look at him. Woo, handsome. Oh, Michael. That's and, right. And look at those beautiful cufflinks by Thomas Knoll that he provided. Those are fantastic. Yeah. All right, here he is. So yes. I know I like it. I mean, the light colored suit's a little, it's a little informal. And it sounds like they're actually, you're having kind of a formal affair. So I like the fact that it's charcoal. It's and the thing is, I really thought he could get a lot more use out of a charcoal mm -hmm. suit as opposed to a light colored suit. So I chose this because I thought it was just a little bit better. What did you think, yeah, Mike? It, it's, an, it's an amazing feeling to be in a suit that fits and feels perfect. Right. Makes me want to take more ownership of my wedding. Oh, that's you know? good. That's good. See, like this? See, getting the custom suits going to get the guys involved in the event. No, I think that's nice. And you're okay with the pink. You're loving it. It takes a real man to I, pull this off. Like that's that. what I say every day. Yes. Okay. That's my, totally my heart. True. It takes a real man to wear pink. You okay. hear that, Carly? I, I, I okay. believe it. I okay. believe it. All right, uh, Gina? Gina, Hi. what do you think? Michael, you look so handsome. I love the <laughs> color combination. You did a great job. Thank you for helping us complete this look for our wedding. Oh, that's great. All right, well, I'm glad you love it, Gina. Well, this was tons of fun. Thank you so much, Randy. Thank you, and thank you, Michael. Um, thank you, thank yeah, you. This yeah, this is great. Thank, thank you guys. so much. Okay. You always do such a good job, and I love that now you're addressing the men in the, the bridal party. It's my pleasure, <laughs> let me tell you, it is. And so, um, we also, we're going to share with you a special clip that you're going into your fifth season of Say Yes to the Dress. And uh, we're going to show you a little sneak surprise. Oh, good. Uh, previously I haven't seen this. There you go. Let's take a look. <laughs> I hope you do well. My whole life, I've been a pageant queen. I absolutely love pageants, and pageantry is who I am. She's very flamboyant, very rhinestoned out. It can be challenging for a girl who's been a pageant queen her entire life to see herself as a bride. My whole life is a performance. Christy's still rocking her pageant walk, even though she's now headed down the aisle. <laughs> Now, why can't oh we go short? Oh my God. This is kind of sexy, right? That's what we're going for. Where this is going to go, I have no idea.